Chiaro Tatu, Stefano, um, Colerma, te agua, Copo Poca, te petl, te mana, Co Edgardo, uh, Taku Hoa, Co Abraham, Taku Inoa, Tije Mori Ora. Ora. First of all, uh, we would like to thank um, uh, the Iwi of this land, of course. Thank you very much for all your support. Uh, thank you uh, to all uh, the amazing staff of the EHF staff and fellows. It's been awesome uh, sharing with you all this time. And of course, uh, our Copa Copa Fano. Kiora. We are Edgardo and, uh, and Abraham, and we come from Mexico. And uh, for a start, we just want to ask you, ask you three questions. If, you, if the answer is yes, please clap twice, okay? Let's play. Have you or someone in your family has ever been bullied? <laughs> Have you ever felt discriminated because of your, the color of your skin, your eyes, your gender, or your nationality? Have you ever uh, felt, uh, have, when you were a kid, did you ever uh, cheated? Cheat? Okay. Okay. That was less clapping. Okay. Good. Let me share with you a story. Uh, when I was seven, um, I was, uh, I was um, having so much fun in a, in a public school back in Mexico City. Uh, but as you may know, in development countries, uh, private schools uh, tend to offer a better quality education than in the public schools. Um, so this means that, uh, sadly, for people with more resources, they are able to, to receive a better quality education, right? So my parents uh, helped me to apply for this uh, scholarship. And guess what? I got it. I got it. Uh, but what do you think it happened to me as soon as I arrived to this private school, amazing private school? Yes, I was, uh, I was totally discriminated because of the color of my skin, the color of my eyes, the way I was, uh, my, the, the clothes I was wearing, and, and especially because of, the, because of my social, social economic uh, status, you know? Um, Eventually, with the, with the help of my parents and my family, my relatives, my friends, I, I, I was like, I understood with, with all that aroha, a love, I understood that I was so proud of who I am and where I come from that uh, eventually it didn't matter. Yeah. No? So, but this is, um, this is my story, but today there's millions of people or children that they don't that don't have the same opportunity as I had. So this is just one of the, the reasons of why today I dedicate my life uh, to form better global citizens from childhood. So uh, Edgardo, please. Yes, thank you. Education for sharing is our organization. We have been working in this organization for the last 12 years now. And our mission is forming better global citizens from childhood. Our framework is very simple. It's based in three simple concepts, but very powerful. Play, reflect, and take action. For us, this innovative and play-based methodology transmit and raise awareness with the children and the whole communities about simple concepts, but very important for the whole world. The UN Sustainable Development Goals, and children know more about these concepts and civic values, such as gender equality, fair play, teamwork, respect, tolerance, empathy, and responsibility. Children in education for sharing, they find out the powerful of the game and play. And not only the children, but the whole community. We work with teachers, children, parents, guardians, and change makers. For us, it's, also, it's very important that everyone in the community become part to find these local solutions to global challenge. Thank you, Edgardo. 
So these, um, these are some of the, our, uh, the results um, we've been receiving from after the service. Uh, after implementing the, the education for sharing methodology that we definitely work with the communities uh, in order for it to be uh, adapted to the local context. We, um, some of the examples is that Fair Play, it's uh, gross, grew 49% in Guatemala, violence dropped almost 70% in Mexico, gender equality was practiced 85% more in Argentina, and participation increased by 60% in the US. Just imagine that. Our games and methodology have benefited over 1 million, 1 million children, parents and teachers in seven countries. And just imagine this uh, 28 best pack stadiums uh, full of people um, committed to change uh, what they don't like. Just imagine that. Uh, we are here in Aotearoa, New Zealand, um, to team up with you all uh, and to build, build up a, sustain, a more sustainable, happy, um, action-oriented community of people uh, aiming to form better citizens, better global citizens uh, from childhood. Tenakoto, tenakoto, tenakoto kato.